out of the five laws of stratospheric success i love the word stratospheric that's <laughs> puts it into perspective because it's not just great success it's not just abundance of <laughs> next level that's right correct. so yeah. what what law or what part of the process do you think people struggle with most in your experience oh most people struggle with the law of receptivity the last one law number five why is that because the way the world is, the messages, the anti-prosperity messages that, that we get hit with by the world around us, and this is for most people, it's, it's a combination of upbringing, environment, schooling, news media, television shows and movies where, you know, the, the, the good people are always portrayed as poor and struggling but honest and happy and the the rich people are always the horrible people who want to take over the world and step on people's toes right you get that all the time um uh the the message the 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 lack messages that we get about and and you know this this gets into your head and it gets into your unconscious and you have it, it can cause a person who from a very young age is hearing all these anti-prosperity messages uh now not on a conscious level again more insidious on an unconscious level to to you know think that that wealth prosperity abundance business is is corresponds with evil in some way so when if you really have this belief inside and now you start to bring immense value to the world and to the lives of so many. And you have all these great things coming to you, including financial wealth. But unconsciously, you're associating this with people thinking less of you, people thinking you're evil or maybe even being evil and dishonest and all these things. What are you going to do? You're going to resist it. You're going to push it away. You're not going to be able to receive it with gratitude. So, yeah, I, I would say that is is basically the reason why it's so interesting like it, it is so subtle like you know mm -hmm. you are, are a child and you're, you're taught it's better to give than receive and that's what you're saying in the book is and what you've just explained here is that it is such a big part of being a giver is actually being on the other end of it and being able to willingly receive and that's the process that's the full circle that we need to go through you know so, tim oh excuse me go ahead carry on carry on no, I was going to say, you know, my friend Randy Gage, who's one of the leading prosperity authors uh, and thinkers and practitioners in the world, he, he gives this great example of, uh, you know, in the movies, in the original Spider-Man movie, uh, Peter Parker is talking with Uncle Ben. They're sitting in the living room talking uh, about being, you know, poor and so forth. And mm. Uncle Ben says, well, you know, Peter, we may not be rich, but at least we're honest. <laughs> what a horrible horrible message for some kid okay. who's watching yeah. that to yeah. be here right because what's the presupposition what's the premise if you're honest man you got no chance and if you're not and if and if you and if you are prosperous it means you weren't honest and uh -huh. if you grow up with having a value of honesty well that you're going to resist that prosperity so and it's it's not just a movie it's pretty much every movie but it's also pretty much it, it just engulfs our culture 